A few people have been wondering what kind of setup I'm running here, so I thought I'd give you a tour and show you what I've got. We'll start off under the stairs. Okay, it's a bit cramped under here obviously because it's under the stairs, um, but hopefully we we'll see everything. Now we'll start off with the phone line from the internet, okay? Comes in, goes to the modem, beautiful. Uh, the modem's just being a pure modem, it's not doing any routing or anything. The, the network connection from the modem goes over to uh, Palo Alto firewall here. So that does my complete firewall for the, and routing and, and everything else for the network. Uh, from that, that feeds the switch, the main switch here. It's an Aruba switch, 48 ports. Most of these, these cables here go to, again, through the patch panel, back to the various places around the house, the access points and the, the network connections in each room. Um, and there's also a trunk that goes to this little uh, this little gigabyte bricks box here. That's actually running Proxmox for my VMs. And on that, I've got, um, what have I got? ClearPass, Airwave, um, Active Directory, uh, something else I can't think of. But basically, it's my little VM uh, machine there. Uh, the TV servers you've probably met before. We went through them. They're all serving multicast TV. They feed back into the first six ports on this switch. And up here I've got two Aruba wireless controllers um, so that the access points that are around the house they tunnel into the controllers and then go into the network. So that's pretty much it for under here. Oh, and there's a couple of little um, little things over here. The Raspberry Pis for one's a web server, one's a syslog server, and a couple of things like that. Um, the web server's got its own interface on the Palo Alto, so it's on a completely different zone, of course. And that's pretty much it. From here, the closest networking device is an access point in the garage, which feeds the general garage workbench area. But I do also have cable network connections here for the permanent computer. And if we go through to the lounge, there's another access point here to feed the, the lounge area. And also this, this access point acts as a mesh portal for in here. If we go to the gym, there's an access point under the radio which is a mesh point that connects to that portal in the lounge. And the reason being, there's a Raspberry Pi behind here just for music, but it has a hopeless wireless adapter. So I just put that on as basically the wireless client to the lounge and it's cabled into the Raspberry Pi. And from there, if we go outside, you see there's another access point out here. Okay, that's also cabled back to the switch. That feeds a few devices that are here and also the general outdoor area. As we go upstairs, one more access point in the ceiling here, which feeds the whole top floor. And of course the main desktop with the uh, six monitors that seems to drive people crazy is uh, cabled in because that doesn't go anywhere. So why not have it cabled in? Even though I've got wireless everywhere in the house, I still prefer to have a computer cabled in if I can. So that's why there's network outlets everywhere for the machines that aren't mobile. I also have an alarm system based on a Raspberry Pi up here. So the inputs from the sensors and the smoke alarm even feed the Raspberry Pi and I've just programmed up my own little alarm system. And that of course goes to the network too.